So my family has been distilling in the East Kentucky Hills for over 200 years, and I'm really proud to be a part of that story. I'm Stephen Beam, and I'm the master distiller here at Limestone Branch Distillery. Well, our family goes back to the beginning of the industry here in Kentucky, and dates all the way back to 1795. We go back to Jacob Beam, who came here actually in 1792 and made his first whiskey and uh, sold his first whiskey in 1795. And uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that he had three grandsons that were all in the business. And it set three distinct lines in the Beam family tree. Minor Case Rye is a tribute to my great grandfather. Back in the day, he made Kentucky's finest whiskey. You know, I always felt it was an unfinished chapter in our book. Minor Case is a straight rye whiskey that we finish in sherry casks. You have a really nice mouthfeel that comes from those, that sherry cask. You still get the spiciness of the rye, but it ends with some dried dark fruit notes, which is, complements the rye beautifully. So back in the day, master distillers would have what they would call a donut jug. So we were able to take that jug and had it scrape the inside. And from that, they were able to get the DNA from the yeast that Minor Case had used. Dates back at least 100 years. And Yellowstone is particularly a, a great brand for my family because both sides, my mother and my father's family, were involved with Yellowstone. So my mother well, it comes from the Dant family, and they were actually the owners and originators of Yellowstone. They had this salesman who was out west, and he came back and he said, you know, they've got this new national park, it's the first thing, and everybody's really excited out here, and you know, if we were to, to name a bourbon Yellowstone, we would probably sell it really well. So that was it. They branded it Yellowstone, and it's been on the shelf since 1872. So Yellowstone was the best-selling bourbon in Kentucky in the 1960s. Not only the best-selling bourbon, but one out of every three bottles of bourbon sold in Kentucky was Yellowstone. So that's a pretty impressive past. Yellowstone Select is our flagship brand. It's a blend of four and seven-year-old bourbon. And uh, I chose that blend specifically for a bourbon that would be able to be enjoyed in a cocktail or as neat. And that seven-year-old contributes a, a great mouthfeel, a little bit more of the flavor, and a really nice finish. And for me, it's a very classic Kentucky bourbon profile. So Yellowstone Limited Edition is where I can be creative. Uh, it comes out once a year allows me to do different finishes or different blends or, or whatever I think is best. The Yellowstone Limited Edition is a unicorn for us. Knowing that my grandfather and uncles and everyone in the past who contributed to Yellowstone and uh, for me to be able to carry it forward and hand it off to the next generation is um, just a, a really exciting part of my life. So Bowling and Birch is our gin. It also is a tribute to my two grandmothers, my grandmother Bowling and grandmother Birch. I wanted a really bright and fresh gin. So those things like hibiscus flower and lemongrass come across very quickly. And uh, the juniper and cardamom and um, citrus peel bring out a, a richer flavor. We produce at an intimate scale. It doesn't feel like a factory. It allows myself and our distillers to actually touch and craft the product. Everything's done you know, by taste and smell. It truly is an art and a craft. You can literally stand in one spot and see the entire process of how bourbon is made. When I opened Limestone Branch, you know, I wanted to open a distillery that I would enjoy coming to every day of my life. This is my final chapter. We really wanted people to come and feel like they're part of our family and uh, to relax and enjoy themselves and, 
I love this property and you know I hope people will enjoy it as much as I do. So we'd love for your family to come visit our family here at Limestone Branch Distillery.